Well, hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and today's just going to be a little recap on the uh, Shop My Stash that I did for March. So at the beginning of the month, I shopped my makeup stash for some products I hadn't used in a while and really wanted to get some use out of. And today I'm just gonna go over how those products worked, what, it, what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna declutter, and little mini reviews. And spoiler alert, I'm keeping all these things. I loved all of them. So the palette that I have on my eyes today is the Strawberry Dream Palette from Lunar Beauty. I mean, look at the packaging. Even if I didn't like the palette, I'm gonna keep this just for the packaging. It's so beautiful. And this moon is like raised off of the packaging. It's just so cute. It does have a scent, kind of like strawberry milk a little bit. Like not really strawberry, just like a little lighter milkshake kind of scent. It's kind of nice and not too crazy. Like it doesn't stay on your eyes. I don't smell it throughout the day. It's just a nice little like, what is that when you're kind of putting it on? Anyway, uh, this is the palette. It's very colorful and the colors, I always thought they weren't the easiest to work with. And, and you know, this isn't the palette I'm going to reach for if I'm in a rush or just want to do something really quick. You do kind of have to work with them a little bit, take your time blending, build it up slowly. But I like the palette and I love the effect of all of these shades, at least all the ones I used. The only ones I didn't use were these two blue ones there. I put a little bit of one of the blues on my lower lash line, but I didn't really use them on my whole lid. I don't know why, I just really stayed in like the pinky colors here. Um, this does have a couple of those shades though, like these ones here that look like they're really deep berry. They end up coming up pink on the lids. You got to kind of build them up a lot to get them to show up that deep. Uh, but I really, really like this. There's this really beautiful row on the top, all of shimmers. And then there's this one right here too. This one's more like a glitter, like one of those top coat ones. So pretty. Love this so much. I'm glad I pulled it out because I had a lot of fun uh, working with this palette. And it was fun to use it and do something super colorful every single time. Uh, it was just, It was just really fun. I really, really enjoyed that palette. The other palette I pulled out, this is actually the one I used in the video where I first talked about the products I was gonna shop my stash for. This is the Melt Cosmetics Bad Side Zodiac and this is the Water Palette. So this one is awesome. I don't know why I wasn't expecting these colors to be that good. I was, I really was expecting some, some like choppiness. It's gonna stick funny, it's gonna skip, it's not gonna blend. But this palette is so good. I really, really like this. I'm actually gonna keep this in my drawer because I wanna continue using it. This is one of those palettes that I can use when I wanna do colorful eyeshadow and it's like in the morning for work or something. I don't really have to take my time with this. It goes on super easy, blends easy, really fun. I love this. I think this is so good, definitely gonna keep it. And then the other palette I pulled out, ooh, a little bit dusty is the Fame palette from ColourPop. So I wish they had kept this in their line. You know, sometimes they keep certain palettes in the line all the time and then they have a ton of like limited releases. This is one I wish they had kept because this was a very popular one. I remember this one when it came out, everybody seemed to love it. And although it does look kind of boring, it looks just, I mean, it is just a palette full of neutrals. There is a nice mix of warm and cool tones in here, but these are like, unexpectedly beautiful. They have some nuance to them. Like some of these shades just have a lot of nuance and it's just beautiful. Like I put these on and I'm like, wow, I wasn't expecting to get that from these shadows that look kind of boring. I'm not gonna go on and on about how much I love the palette because this is not available anymore, but I'm sure they have something like this in their line. Um, Cause you know, they kind of, there's only so many colors you can make and they have so many products there's gotta be some overlap after a while. So I'm sure they have palettes like this that are in their line, uh, but ColourPop's just, it's great, it's really good. And then, after I had this palette and I loved it so much, you know what I went and did? I bought some more palettes from their website. Let me just show you what I got real quick. So I did get this one for Christmas, the Nude Mood, and this one is awesome. This one is a little more warm than the Fame palette is, because this one is has some warm shades in it, but they are a little more, toned down, like they're not super duper intense. So the Nude Mood is really good if you love like just warm, it's really pretty. And then I got the Mandalorian palette. They were doing some sort of sale, like a 40% off or something like that kind of sale. And I don't know why, I was just like in the mood because I love that palette so much. I got the Mandalorian palette. I'll show you the insides, why not? So cute, like ColourPop knows how to do a palette, right? Like, look at that. So nice. 
And this one does come with a mirror as well. We have the C3PO palette. Look! This one does kind of look like the Uh-huh Honey palette that they have. Like, like I was saying, you know, there is, there's got to be overlap after a while. You know what I mean? So yeah, there is going to be some overlap over time, you know. You can only have so many color combinations before things start overlapping. Even if I had that palette, I probably would have bought this one anyway just because the packaging is so cute. I got the Darth Vader palette. Look how cute. I really like this one a lot. This one looks really, really cool. And that red, like, pop right there in the middle looks awesome. Can't wait to use that. And then I got the Glow Getter palette. I don't remember why I got this one. I honestly didn't even remember it. When the package arrived, I was like, oh yeah, I bought that? I don't know. Looks cool though. I'll definitely use it. Anyway, love the palette. Gonna keep it. That's what I meant to say. The foundation I pulled out is the Merit Foundation Stick. I think it's just called Perfecting Complexion Stick. So the only thing I didn't like about this is the packaging. Although it's very nice and sleek, both sides are exactly the same. Like the part you twist up and the cap you pull off. Oh wait. So I never knew it was that side all along. I never knew which side to pull off and it was always annoying. Just like a slight annoyance. I don't know. Anyway, it's a stick foundation and I didn't remember if I loved this or not from my first review of this because I hadn't used it in a while. It's so creamy, super creamy. You could just draw all over your whole face. You'll be very tempted. Uh, this one did need a brush and I, I feel like the brush is in my bag. Oh no, here it is. This is the brush I was using. So this is the e.l.f. Uh, airbrush stipple brush. And I liked this a lot because it has a lot of these wispy pieces on the top. It's fluffy, slightly dense, but not too crazy, but it's very wispy on the top. And it made this blend so nicely. Uh, this foundation stick, I think really does need a brush. I haven't had a lot of success blending this with the sponge. I think it really does benefit from a nice little wispy stipple brush. And this is really great to uh, touch up with as well. So after lunch or something, you know, stuff like wears down around your mouth somehow, I would just get this, draw a little bit, and then just get this little brush and just brush it around. And it was nice. I really liked this a lot. Um, it doesn't have the best lasting power. It, you know, it's not like a heavy duty foundation, but if you don't mind your makeup just kind of gradually wearing off throughout the day, not in a bad way, like it's not gonna completely disappear, but you know, after the end of your work day, you might kind of notice like, oh, the redness on my chin is peeking through, maybe around the nose and stuff like that. So I really liked it. I'm glad I found like the perfect brush to use it with because it really had just been sitting there and now I absolutely love it. Um, I pulled out the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Funfetti. This was an exclusive color to either HSN or QVC a while back, and that's where I bought it. Um, I really love this a lot. I, had, I hadn't used it in a long time. It is what I have on my cheeks today, and I really loved it. I was wearing it across my nose and everything. Great color, not too crazy in the pigment department. Gonna keep it. And then I had the CYO Bronzer. This is the bronzing powder when the sun don't shine in the shade Fair. I thought this brand was discontinued, um, but someone told me they still sell it online. I haven't looked into that still, but the bronzer is really nice. Has a nice little light scent to it. It's very pretty, even though the brand's discontinued. I will keep this forever. I love the tone of it. It's so perfect for my skin tone. So if you have anything from that brand, hopefully you're still using it, pull it out. It was a really good brand, so I don't know why it got taken out of stores. And then the last thing I shopped my stash for was a new product to me from Dior. This is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in the shade 02. I did get this on Poshmark and it was something I wanted for so, so long. This is what I put on my cheeks today and I kind of want a little bit more. Um, it's just a highlighter, like you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if I would put this on and go, oh yeah, that's that Dior highlighter. You know, there are some that I feel have such a special formula or a tone or something where I, I know what it is right away. And I just love it. It has like a really nice little pinky undertone to it without having that gray shadow that sometimes lighter highlights can have. I think it's so beautiful. It does have a nice full size mirror in there. Um, I don't regret buying this for a second. I think it's great. It blends into the skin nicely. It doesn't sit there. There's no chunky glitter. It's just that nice, perfect sheen. And I love it. Definitely going to keep it. So I'm keeping all this stuff. I loved it. I'm glad I bought, I picked out all these items because I got to use them more, got to fall back in love with them. And if you are not shopping your stash, 
this is your sign to do it. You will re-fall in love with the things you thought you you loved or things you thought you hated. Maybe your skills are different now, your taste changed, your preferences, things like that. So shop your stash, you will not regret it. I've been absolutely loving it. So that is it. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.